Hello, the Hawk. Hello. Hey, who's this? Hey, this is Kelsey. What's going on? Is this Kelsey Ballerini? It is. Holy mackerel. Joining me on the phone lines right now is Kelsey Ballerini. Are you there or did you hang up on me already? I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Rich. Nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Kelsey. <laughs> We need video phone if we're going to do this correctly. You know that, right? I know, right? FaceTime. How are you? I'm so good. I'm in Nashville right now. I'm getting ready to play show. It's a good day. Are you uh, Nashville? Are you near Knoxville, your house? Um. Well, yeah. I'm like three hours down the road. Well, first off, let's just dump the small talk. Before we even start this interview, number 29 on the Billboard Country Airplay this week? Come on. Right? 30. Congratulations to you. That's Thank you. ridiculously Thank you. awesome. I, um, I've been so excited to put out Peter Pan as a single. I've been waiting to, to release it. And so the fact that it's been embraced like it has been so early on is super cool. I'm really, really proud of it. Uh, tell me a little bit about what's the inspiration behind Peter Pan? Well, I think it's just about those kind of relationships where, like, it's not some big, dramatic, like, scandalous, someone cheats or someone does something bad that, like, makes a big, epic breakup. It's just the kind of relationships that end because one person can't emotionally match the other one. And I feel like it's a really sad kind of heartbreak that we don't talk about a lot. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to talk about that kind. Now, uh, speaking of such things, who are you dating? <laughs> who am I dating? Um, I, <laughs> I'm still happy, though. Uh, so I heard you got stood up, though, actually. What was that about? When did I get? I mean, I've gotten stood up a lot. You well, know? you actually went to the restaurant. The gentleman yeah. excused himself. And then what happened, yeah. darling? That happened. I was in high school. And it scarred me for life. I went, I was dating this guy for like a year. And we went, we had date night. And he was like, hey, I'll be right back. And like 45 minutes later, I'm like, he's not coming back. <laughs> and so I ended up just like eating a ride home because he didn't come back. <laughs> that makes me mad. And I've never it met you yet in person. <laughs> it makes me mad too. So did he show up afterward or anything? What happened? I mean, no he apology up, or? He showed up at my door like hours later. And he was like, hey, sorry, uh, my friend was having a party and he needed me. I'm like, logically in your brain, how does that even make sense? Wow. Um, that was the end of that. So so he jumped a date yeah. with a beautiful blonde because his friend was yeah. having a party and needed... Well, mind, mind you, I was still very much still in my awkward phase, so the beautiful blonde part might not have been a factor. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Yeah. Ridiculous. How was your mother's day? It was great. I got back in the morning and I took my mom to brunch. I love my mom, so it's fun to celebrate her. And uh, so uh, what happened uh, here when you were 12 on, on Mother's Day, huh? I forgot. It's <laughs> Mother's Day. And um, my mom, she, she's not like a gift person. She really likes like time together, like, you know, just doing something sweet. So I, I was like, I'll write her a song. So mm. I wrote her a song called Oh Mama, and that was my very first song I ever you wrote. You want to sing me just a little bit of it? Um, It's like, oh. But still, <laughs> no, I got you to sing for me on the phone. Now I'm like all fuzzy and warm all over. I appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hear you're friends with Taylor. The swift kind? Yes, the swift kind, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's awesome. I, I love her. I, I grew up, you know, as a fan of her, and now she's a buddy of mine and uh, someone that I definitely go to a lot for just, like, advice and just to hang with. She's awesome. Yeah, because she's been through the gauntlet of all of it. I mean, you know, country and then switching to another format and having to deal with yep. all kinds of people. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of experience. And she's just done everything so gracefully. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, she really has. Down to earth and awesome. Yeah. You know, you're going to be joining us here in Binghamton uh, this weekend uh, with Billy Currington, Magic City Music Hall. We're pretty excited. How's about yourself? Oh, I'm very excited. Are you excited? When you get here, we'll go eat someplace, and I promise you I won't run to a party. Oh, that's nice. Deal. <laughs> so, as long as you promise to have a dance party. Oh, yeah, we'll have a dance party. I don't care. I'll be up on the stage with you anyway. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so is there anything, I, I always ask people this, is there anything that we need to know? Like, do you have any weird superstitious thing that you do before? Before you go perform like you have to wear a certain perfume or you have to like lock the door three times is there anything weird that you do <laughs> no the only thing that i do consistently before every show is me and my band get on our bus and we put on rap music and we all like shove up in the front lounge super tiny and we have a dance party we really like we really commit and just go crazy and get all the nerves out for like five minutes all right fine we will dance party. Yeah, I mean, I'm a terrible dancer, but I still do it. Yeah, me too. So, two left feet and one right. Yep, same. <laughs>
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what are we going to see at the show? What are you going to be playing? Give us a little set list update. Well, you know, I'm still like making my rounds for the first time to, to a lot of places. So I'm, I'm still introducing myself. And so I really want to have people walk away and feel like they know me a bit better. So I'm playing, obviously, you know, the songs that I've had on the radio and some songs for my record, but also just like playing some songs that I love and that I'm inspired by and talking a lot. I, I just, I would really like to make it like an introduction. It's like a hangout. All right. That sounds good. Well, that right there is the beautiful Kelsey Ballerini, everyone, joining me here in the studio. This interview that you heard here on the air, me and Kels, we clipped it up for time. But you know what, Kelsey? You know where they can go. Where can they go? To hear the whole thing. Where? Right at 981thehawk.com's YouTube. I put it on a a video, and they can go listen to everything we talked about behind the scenes. All of it. Amazing. I know, right? (laughs) All right. I'll I'll be looking forward to seeing you this weekend, okay? Yes, I'll see you there. All right. So this dance party shall happen. You'll have to come out on stage with me, though, because I don't know when I'll get out there. It'll be earlier. It'll be later. but It will happen. We'll do it. And what rap song are we going to dance to, by the way? I'll I'll think about it. You're just going to let me know? I don't even have any time to try and practice. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get prep time. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks a lot for joining me tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.